outro cast. First and foremost, I have to say it is an honor and a pleasure to be reconnected with you. Thanks to the wonderful folks at Impact. I get you guys like every four or five months. It's it's almost like a dentist cleaning appointment. It's like, oh, another yes. four or five months. We got Gals and Anderson again. So thank you. You both doing well today? Great, Great man. man. Really good, yeah. Sure. So getting the housekeeping out of the way, bound for glory, big match coming up. Excited? Anything like that? Man, there's a vibe out here. We got in last night. We're doing a full-blown media tour today and tomorrow, getting people psyched up. There's a sold-out crowd here that's going to be at Sam's Town Casino live in Las Vegas. Um, but we were out walking around this morning, and it, it, it's true, man. Like, I just tweeted it. There's a giant picture of us on the Sam's Town billboard. People are pumped. You can feel the buzz in the air. Uh, so we're excited to be in front of a live, sold-out Las Vegas crowd presenting impact wrestling's flagship pay-per-view inbound for glory man is yeah, there yeah a vegas equivalent to the ribera steakhouse well it's funny we were just yes. talking about this last uh interview we're literally in between these interviews on our phones sending each other restaurants because that's that's i guess as we mature that's one of our big things we get excited about going to dinner <laughs> yeah there's there's not really like a, a, a there's so much good food in las vegas like that's you know, like like we said, we 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 land in whatever city, literally all over the world, and we sometimes remember which place we like to eat here. Or like yeah. I know when I go, yeah, or like certain places in New York when we land, we know where we want to eat. And like out here with Vegas, you can either get a really well, you can get great everything, but we th yeah. we, we like to. We, this kind of takes us back to our Japanese roots, and we kind of lean towards more like you know getting some yakiniku or shabu shabu or the Korean barbecue, and sometimes we want sushi. So it, it, that's what we're excited about. I was sure. actually asked. <laughs> did you ask me about wrestling? I started talking about food. What did you ask? I don't even remember the question now. <laughs> I was asking if there's a Ribera Steakhouse equivalent. Oh, yeah. oh there you go. Okay. Yeah, they're related. It, it ties wrestling and food together. Yeah. I was selfishly asking because the wife and I are going to Vegas for three weeks over December and January. So I figured if there's a place that you guys dug, that's where we're going. Brother, <laughs> they, they, I, I, me, me and my wife came out here in July. It's three weeks. Whew, three, dude, three days we're trying to, we're, we, we've had enough of Las Vegas. Three weeks in Vegas might kill me, literally. It's a, it's a beautiful place, but I don't handle it so well. <laughs> <laughs> three days but three New weeks Orleans is kind of insane. You, you don't need to stay more than three or four days if your brother's like us because you're going to get it all in in that amount of time <laughs> if the good brothers came to las vegas for three weeks you'd be going to our our, our combination funeral <laughs> that's the truth so, that's uh, nah. Nah, bitch. exactly well all that said you guys remain the hardest tag team to boo in professional wrestling <laughs> we're supposed to boo because it's like here are these guys who overcame all the odds who are completely nice to fans when they're not on camera who have great products and merchandising who totally let all the fans in so kudos to you on being really hard to boo but we'll be booing you about for glory right please yes absolutely no we we love that man we love meeting our fans i mean we're doing that you know we don't have to do it we're doing a meet and greet uh tomorrow night after a long day of media and then we're doing one at the end of bound for glory so it's cool to see people who support us and it's, it's cool to get to see them and and meet them live and stuff like that so when you see us in your town come out and say hello give us a two sweet yeah. Dude, shirt, yeah, we love that <laughs> we're, we're, yeah we're, we're big fans of people that are fans of the good brothers yeah yeah, yeah. If, if you if we're over with you you're pretty much over with us that's how it works yeah. if you don't like suck it <laughs> if you, yeah if you don't like us that's okay too but we, we love them when they love us so Fair. Well, this next question goes to Gallus, but Mr. Anderson, you you weigh in if you want to on this one. I did a Absolutely. press junket a couple of weeks ago for the show Heels before it came out, and you were in the background of that first episode. And I didn't hear anyone talk about that. And when I asked the actor who played Rooster about it, he thought I was talking about Luke Hawks. <laughs> how did how did this whole thing stay under the radar? The fact that you were in Heels. Dude, this is so funny. I have a buddy who, uh, you know, I promote my own wrestling shows as well because I'm not busy enough that I uh, go on our Impact <laughs> Plus app. seven ninety nine a month, every pay-per-view in Impact History Plus, Larry Auto Pro Live. Uh, he was in town and my wife, my wife was out doing something with the kids. And I said, well, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm going to audition for this wrestling show on stars called Heels. And I go, I'll ride with you. And I got there and I saw Ray Lloyd Glacier and he goes, why don't you come in here and try this? And I was like, well, I mean, 
you know, if it's just an extra thing, I'll let these guys do it. And he's like, well, no, it's like a featured paid extra role. And then I heard what you could make doing it. And, uh, that it was easy and I didn't have much going on while the time they were shooting it. So I got in there and tried out next thing, you know, I I'm in it and I'm not in it a lot, but like I'm in a lot of the wrestling scenes and stuff. And I think it kind of helped them a little bit because Luke Hawks is doing a lot of that, but there were a lot of guys in there who were, you know, kind of green to the way television wrestling works. So it was, it was very easy for me. It was a lot of fun. I got to lay on my fat ass in my trailer all day until they came and got me. And then I would do my thing and eat my catering. So it, it wasn't a bad gig. And, um, I've watched a couple episodes of it. It's a pretty fun show. Yeah, but if you watch Talking Shop of Mania too, and you got Gallows wasn't if anybody watched that, the fans of it or oh, not. But if we it, bought both of those pay per views in this house, so we're so, waiting for the third. One. <laughs> so I got to say, if you if you realize that Gallows is CGI CGI Gallows in part two, which I thought was it's still one of the funniest things I've ever seen because we think we're the funniest guys in the world. But yeah, you know the reason make- the reason the reason he was CGI is because he's off shooting that stupid show or whatever. Yeah, that's then, true. I found out, then I found out he's just in the background. And I said, you're putting me with all these wrestlers here trying to run this stupid show I don't want to run. And you're going to be in the background of some Tate Hill isn't show. Wow. That- so that's why he was CGI Gallows. He, had, he went and shot heels. I wasn't there. I, had, I, I drove straight from shooting heels, got home at 930 or whatever, put on my Sex Ferguson stuff. And then we, we shot that match. So I held the day. Yeah, he shot, he shot heels all day, came back at 10 p.m. after we shot stuff all day, then we shot the ball for a ball match. Yeah, so, <laughs> a long-ass day. <laughs> Is there going to be a Talking Shop of Mania 3? Yeah, I've been saying this in interviews. That's why I'm going to take the helm on answering this. Really, it's a personal question you need to direct toward the machine gun Carl Anderson. Rocky Romero and I have been pushing and pushing hard, but I guarantee you this, with between three months and seven years from now, you will see Talking Shop of Mania 3. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen. See, Rocky and Gallo start, they start picking on me and teaming up on me and saying that, like, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. Then I hand Rocky and Gallo's a beer and change the subject and they forget about it. And we forget true, about it. It's true. <laughs> they've both, they've both messaged me and said, well, we're, we're shooting this soon, like being separately. mean about it. And then yeah. <laughs> separately, but then I'll, I'll like swerve the, swerve the, the conversation somewhere else, make them laugh here or this, and they forget that they were mean about it, and then they forget that they want to shoot the show. So I it's just a lot of work, man. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll, we'll get it in someday. It's, and it is fun. It's, it's one of the funnest things to do, to even as stupid as it is, a slapstick or whatever you think about it, like, but just writing it down with my friends like that and then creating it and then watching it happen and then putting it out as a show, putting it all together and doing it and, like, laughing about it and, like, it making me laugh. It's like, man, this yeah. it's that's one of the funnest things that I've ever been involved in, both of them. Rocky and I have been side writing this, but I don't think you're gonna be smiling and thinking it's your happiest moment when you <sighs> the hit that it's gonna take to the talking shop LLC bank account because Rocky thinks we need to create fucking Star Wars over here. So I think yeah. this one's pricey. <laughs> Rock's not in charge of the budget anymore, by the way. Yeah. He's out of here, pal. <laughs> you can't have you can't have the you can't have the poorest friend of the trio be in charge of the money. <laughs> He's the guy who lives in LA. He thinks big budgets. Sorry, this is turning into a talk with job. Sorry, yeah. brother. Let's get back on track. <laughs> no, Rock. I have two questions left, and the first one is related to Rock. Rock uh, was doing the Brandon Cutler thing before Brandon Cutler was. <laughs> the exactly. contract thing where you're the guy who edits and wrestles on camera. Oh, How does man. Rock feel about Brandon Cutler? You know, that's a good question. I don't think we've asked Rock that, but Rock, you know, he'll, he'll try to be this blue collar working man. But what he doesn't tell you is BDB, Balls Deep Billy, our producer, Rock's handed all the work off to him now. He's not really doing yeah. shit. Just, we actually had to pay know, a producer now. <laughs> you know, I mean, obviously you're a fan, but if, if you're not of our Talking Shop podcast, they drop every Sunday, Machine Gun, myself, Rocky Romero, and producer Emilio but we've also just started a vlog we literally just got verified on YouTube like a week ago we dropped our first one it was covering an appearance we did uh, in Tennessee last week and Rocky wasn't with us and I'm thinking what the hell is this going to be so he hires this editing team and there he is just edited into every other shot you know watering his stupid plants playing with his dumb dog all this kind of stuff so he's just he's really 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 pushing the envelope with me right now because he's not as busy pretended to be this dumb dog <laughs> yeah go to, go to go to go to talk and shop on youtube and, and check it out rate like and subscribe please and comment the, the last thing that i want to know is you guys have been so successful in the last year and a half or so since coming to impact that 
I have to imagine you're turning down a lot of things. So for example, when you first got the Good Brothers beer on the market, that was like a, whoa, they got a cool product on the market there. Have there been any weird things that you've had to turn down? Like, did somebody say, hey, Good Brothers wine, we should have that out there, anything like that? Oh, we have it. It's available at tnsmania.com. We have red, we have white, we have a pink chambrine. It's called Try Rose. That. Please, promo code is Hoot, H-O-O-T. But uh, I didn't even tell Machine Gun this one because we're so busy, things get lost in translation. We're actually a little guilty of, uh, we haven't properly promoted a lot of these side projects because our schedule is nonstop right now. Yeah. But I, I was propositioned for, and this is no no lie, no shit, uh, for Good Brothers condoms. And I just thought, for two fathers that are married, I just I don't think a condom line is something that's great for our future or our already overbrothered image. So we, I just kind of let that one go by the way. <laughs> yeah, nah, we're, we're good without that. Right. <laughs> you know, G- G- Gallows is really good at, uh, and this isn't a, this isn't a knock on him. He's, he's just, when, when we, when we left WWE, he just, he has submerged himself into work. And so he got, he got, you know, 50 projects going at a time and then it, it had, <laughs> has my head spinning. I, so I had to start ignoring it. Like, so I, yeah. I, I'd rather, con- I'm the kind of guy that wants to concentrate on like five, but he has like 75 and that's why he has so much money. Well, that's why I like to just, I just, these all these signing and appearances we've been hot lately so they want us all over the country i don't even ask him anymore i just go this is the flight he needs a first class delta flight he needs this much money and i say hey pal on uh november 6th you're here you're getting this much and uh see you there and they usually says okay so it works for us yeah Yeah. makes sense well adhering to the warning we're under 15 minutes so perfect both for your time and looking forward to everything that's coming soon absolutely eastern pay-per-view and live via the fight network is bound for glory tune in do not sleep on impact wrestling thanks for having us good brother and when we survive three weeks in vegas we'll let you know take care guys. please do (laughs) tweet me